Hello! In this guide, I'm going to teach you how to install Reshade for Fantasy Star Online Blueburst. For this guide, I'll be installing it onto the Affinia server, but this will most likely work on any other install for Fantasy Star Online Blueburst. What you need is pretty simple, you only really need to get two files and then the optional shaders that you might want to add. I'll get to that in a bit, but the first file that you're going to go and download is going to be D3D829. This basically translates the game's DirectX 8 API calls and turns them into DirectX 9. I understand a lot of people prefer DG Voodoo 2, but in the case of Reshade, DG Voodoo 2 did cause a lot of random crashes to me, which is definitely not something that you would want on PSO. And I've found generally D3D 8 to 9 is a lot more stable. And then the other thing that you're going to need is a modded version of Reshade, which you can also get from GitHub, and it's fully open source. And for the final optional files, I found this really cool path tracing shader called Reshade RTGI by Pascal Glitcher. Okay, so once you have all of your files downloaded, you're going to go ahead and go to your Affinia folder. And then you're going to go and drop the d3d8.dll. You're going to drop it in the folder. I've already done this, so you won't really get this issue. Uh, but if you do, just replace the file and destination. And that's pretty much all that you're going to do in the folder. For now, right? Once you're done with that, you're going to want to go and launch the modded reshade. What this does is basically it disables the online check for reshade, which allows the game to always have access to the depth buffer, no matter how how much like online it's actually using. Reshade, the regular version by default, tends to disable depth buffer on online games to prevent cheating, stuff like that. So when you launch it, you're going to get this really crude window. So you're going to click here on the big box and it's going to search for your games. You're going to go and browse and you're going to go to your Affinia folder. And then you're going to click on psobb.exe. You're going to open it and it's going to tell you it looks like your target application is using Direct3D8. And it doesn't really matter because we're using a wrapper to turn it into D3D9. That's what this file was for. So you're going to click OK and then you're going to select D3D9. And it should give you this menu. I already have it installed, but it should specifically jump to this menu. So then you go to edit reshade settings. And then you, from here you can set your effect and texture paths. Effect should be the shader path and texture is texture path on your regular reshade folder. I use gshade a lot and reshade and gshade are practically the same. So if you have any shaders for G-Shade, they should also work on Reshade. And you can also set your screenshot path and your preset, right? You can also set to skip tutorial so you can begin immediately using it. Then you press OK. I'm going to press cancel because I already have my stuff configured. On a quick side note, if you do have any custom textures that you want to import into uh, your shader folder, uh, you're supposed to go to the G-Shade shaders folder and then there should be two folders, shaders and textures. Whichever custom shader that you get, it will always come with those two folders. It will come with a shaders texture and textures folder. So you're going to drag and drop those here and it's going to ask you to replace the files in the destination. I already have it, so I'm going to skip these files, but you always have to press replace if you're adding new shaders. And you should see that uh, you have reshaded 4.9.1 unofficial, right? Once you've logged in, you should notice that you actually have access to G-Shade now, or Reshade, rather. And you can press Shift F2 to open the menu like you would normally. You can also change the buttons that you use to open and toggle the shaders in the settings. From there, you can just tweak and do whatever you want. Personally, I just really like to use the the uh, path trace shader I found because I feel like the lighting adds more to the environment. But yeah, so that's about it. 